evening, everyone. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you, and I'm so glad that we could gather for this celebration of love. Thank you for making it all the way to Canada to celebrate Nate and Jessica. Now, I remember meeting Jessica so vividly, but I have no memory of meeting Nate. And I remember his name coming up when Jess talked about Borderline and her friends there. And I remember her telling me she liked him, but wasn't sure if he liked her back. But I don't remember the instance that we actually met. And for the last 10 years, Nate has just been a part of our lives. It's as if my brain knew he was always meant to be there. I have had the privilege of watching him and Jesse evolve into a love that can rattle the stars. Jesse, the last 20 years of friendship has been the most exciting time of our lives, and I can't wait to keep following you around the world, both real and fantasy. To the stars who listen, and the dreams that are answered. Ooh, now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> See, but I'm glad we did this. So I'll have to be nervous later. All right. Nate, the most important thing that I've learned so far in our life is that no amount of travel will ever equal the feeling of walking through the door and getting a tight classic Nate hug. It's in those moments with you. <laughs> You're okay. That I know, no matter what may come our way, we will always have each other and we can conquer the world. So Jess, I know I'm not the most decisive person, but this is the easiest decision I have or will ever have <laughs> to become your husband. I believe we are a couple that proves opposite attract because you're wild and outgoing. I'm definitely not. <laughs> In your eyes, there are no limits on what is possible through imagination, hard work, and love. You have brought so much happiness into my life that all I can do in return is to promise you all of me for eternity. There are easily a million more things that I could say to you, but it's cold, so I will save them for another day. For now, the most important thing that I want you to know is that I don't just love you 3,000. I love you eternally. <laughs> you are mine, and I'm yours. Until the end of time. And I never want you, or I, or anyone else to forget that. It was like really stupid funny until it wasn't. <laughs> I guess that's a part of choosing to be alive. This afterthought's just a by the power vested in me by the two of you. It is my honor to declare you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I am pleased to present Mr. and Mrs. Shaw. Shots with a new shot. All we do is 